bet to see who could get to church early. <laughs> Me, Nandy, or Sandra, or Shadeen, Chevelle, and India. We're about to go to church now. It's 10 15. We're gonna see who get there first. Sandra look cute. Wait, don't you think it didn't work? Church ain't gonna work. Hey, what's up, Jarrell? Hello, this is Jarrell, the best person in the world, aka best friend. Babe, what you mean, let's do? Nandy, you, you nervous? You think you're yeah, gonna lose? I'm nervous! <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna win. Please We're tell here. Shana that she looks pretty, because she's tripping. Talking about some, oh no. no Y'all, no, my no, dress no. snapped this morning Baby, while I put it on. on. My zipper broke. So I had to what put on a whole new outfit. So we're sitting in the cafe enjoying our Sabbath lunch. Mm -hmm. And this man tries to hit on Sandra the first time. And she comes back to our table and tells us, right? So on our way of, um, to leave the cafeteria, you hear, hey, excuse me, excuse me. And Sandra's like, well, we all just turn around. He look at Sandra and talk about, maybe we should link up sometimes. Sandra's like, huh? <laughs> Yo, when I tell you, and then we left, right? Everybody's asking. Did he give you? Did he ask for your number? That's crazy. That man has to be at least ten years older than us, y'all. No, but he asked if I was married. Mar not even had a boy. Married. I'm only twenty, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that man look like he been in that cafeteria <laughs> for the last <laughs> since two thousand. <laughs> oh my God. Hey y'all. What? It's about hot as hell what? again. About to go to class. So. See you later, shoddy. Bye. Have fun. Learn something, okay? No. <laughs> I mean, all right. Wait, Father, I have grown to hate the person that I choose to be because I've opened these doors and let these oh, demons yeah. in and I think that these demons are finally getting used to me. Enjoy because sir. usually, when I get delivered by the sun, I keep going back to sin for that same buzz. Now I'm light years from where I used to be to infinity oh. and beyond is no longer where I choose to be. I've gotten so accustomed to sin that pain and disappointment have now become amused to me. Mm. I feel like you are a father filled with scrutiny, disappointed in his son for not being able to play ball because I still can't catch the Holy Spirit that you threw to me. I am tired of falling in sin and then wondering what you're going to do to me. Dear God. Hmm. That's it. Yes. yes. All right, Kayla, your turn. Thursday. Yes, 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 yes. Tell their friends. Um, Khalil Clark, a.k.a. Um, Mr. Oakwood. Oh, right. This is Mr. Oakwood. You your know. turn. Just a, just, a, just a little small taste of what art and soul is. Trying to come with this Thursday for our blackout show, you know, shameless plug. It's gonna be lit. It's gonna be lit. I mean, we got Mr. Oakwood spitting poetry. Like, it doesn't get any better than that. Last year we had Miss Oakwood spitting poetry yeah. too. Don't forget. We gotta keep that going. We gotta like try to create a legacy. But no, watch out. Yeah, nobody yeah. cares. In the towel. What is her nanny doing? Cutting her hair. But it's it's gonna be even after I fix it. Look. <laughs> It's not funny. Yes, it is. This is when you want to take out your hair, but nobody like you just. I don't you're know. being dramatic right now. Nobody wants to do my hair, so I gotta learn how to do my own styling. <laughs> <laughs> you okay, Sandra? Mm -mm. It's gonna look nice. Trust me. Comment down below if you think it's gonna turn out nice. We'll see. And she looked juicy, so... Who looked juicy? Me. Me. She a hater. Buddy. She a hater. What the hell are you doing? I'm cut. <laughs> people, oh, people always question me hairstylist. You're not a hairstylist. Yes, I am. I learned how to use YouTube, and you're over here questioning me. Okay. Hey, Our top story tonight is about an unarmed black man killed by police and insert any city that has a large black population yet has almost no minorities working with law enforcement. He was killed around, insert literally any time of day. Here's what we know so far. The victim stood about height tall enough to scare white people if it's in a black body that isn't dunking, running, throwing, Mercy. jumping, or standing during the national anthem. <laughs> Black king loved black queen. Black king would watch her as she slept. The way her eyes would flicker, right, then left. The way her breast sank into her chest and the depth of her breath gave treble to the cleft of her melodic slumber, black king. 
I can lay down next to her. Watch the sunrise attempt to outshine her beauty, booty. Perfectly positioned for conquests, but he won't press, because sometimes making love is about more than just sex. 548 turned into 845. Cuddling turned into calculus. Black queen had no class, but only on her schedule today. Black King went to math, hoping to find the limits to his love for her, parentheses. His feelings had grown exponentially. Love was multiplied, time was no longer divided, plus he subtracted all X's just to try and make sense of his equal. She was the one and sequel. Peacefully, she laid in his bed. Text message 934. Get home soon. I got some things I want to do to you. He replies with a smirk and Wonders how he's gonna wow her next. Maybe more flowers, maybe more sex. Not bad. Chick fil A. Because who wouldn't want Chick fil A? He was gonna come home with some fries. Text message 957. I've got a surprise. Text message 959. The emoji that cries. Maybe a foreshadow of what was to come. Somewhere in the sheriff's office was a white cop on the sofa. Novice who hadn't filled his quota, his. Dad in a coffin, his mom in a coma, it was a bad day. In fact, if he came back empty handed, it could be his last day. So, white cop drives, planning to hide in the guise of Frustration Avenue and Racism Boulevard. He stops at a red light. Black King is thinking of his bed light. I hope she put on the lace joint with the red stripes and possibly one of his white tops. White cop looks to the right. Black King looks to the left. White cop sees black king as red light goes green. Black king sees white cop in blue hat and thinks black out. Ironic because white cop will argue he never saw a color. Sex texts give way to death threats and for the next second you'd expect the best gets of white cop and black king knows trouble is coming. He knows he has his license and insurance. He figured he'd cover his stops, but that's a lie since insurance won't cover the stop. Text message 1011, babe, I just got pulled over. Black King is in sweatpants and a pullover. He's young, black, educated, no pushover, but none of that matters. having a conversation about the crime in our country, and they told the story again. The one about the woman who tried to impersonate the skies, how she seems so blue today. Her eyes, eager for the participation of precipitation because ever since her sun set, her smile has been on vacation, but the clouds think she's faking. So I tell the clouds, it is the pain that caused it, like she wasn't trying to force it, but her son's life went down the drain, so now her eyes been draining like faucet, so let that sink in. Okay. <laughs> because today, the sky and another mother are in sync. And just like the clouds, they both wish they could see their son today. But it's been raining for weeks in this city. And I wish I was talking about the weather, but bullets been brutally baptizing black boys in a bath of bloody murder, but it's just another day in this city. Because where I'm from, people spend more time on bail than in jail, so I guess that's just how we play in this city. Because the politicians busy making playgrounds out of our pockets, so they keep swinging us, and we keep letting things slide, and that's why. That's why. You can find dead bodies in the ocean. But I wonder what the seesaw. Oh. Uh, first of all, I want to say uh, rest in peace, Trayvon Martin. Rest in peace, Mike Brown. Rest in peace, Von Derrick Myers. Uh, rest in peace, the endless amount of young black men that we've lost um, since this since this Black Lives Matter movement has started, so I just want to make sure that we all remember what we're doing here tonight, so.
Rest in peace shirts become donated clothing to the homeless. Mm. Wow. The fallen tears have caused a few extra weeds to grow in the street where his body was. The mud-stained teddy bears now clutch blood-stained roses in his father's memory, in his brother's memory, in his son's memory. The church house music turns stoops and front porches into church pews where the street light is the curfew and the gospel of the good Lord Almighty is the only good news that this hood has heard in a very long time. Where grandmother's prayers make sure the stray bullets stay stray. Grandmother's prayers make sure that her sons come home from war each night with no bullets in their bodies. Grandmother's prayers make sure the devil stays away from her daughters in the form of bad men, in the form of mad men, in the form of black men. Because she knows that the devil don't always wear Prada, so she prays that the devil keeps his true religion out of his daughter's jeans, where the gunshots, police sirens, and blood curdling screams are the sweet sounds of serenity that keep us to sleep at night we sleep. Yeah, yeah.